Hi guys, welcome back for another Masters of the Universe review and this time will be Sky Glow. I uh, can see the this is the Masters of the Universe uh, Origins Twilight. Alright, and it's new for 20. Here's the evil ghost for Skeletor, he glows in the dark and a retro play style. Alright, and here you have um, Sky Glow in his um, uh, in his all his glory. And you have the traditional card back uh, where Skaglo uh, attacks Prince Adam as a comic book also, uh, which is, I guess, Double Trouble. He's part of, uh, probably this is the second wave, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, and right here you can see the biopic for the Masters of the Universe, which is good. He Man, Man in Arms, all cool. Um, and this glows in the dark as well. Okay, and right here, let's see him up close and personal. This is his him in still in the packaging, and this is the uh, all the stones with the red color, which is uh, traditional to the uh, He Man, He Man's Masters of the Universe. Uh, basically release. Okay, let's crack him open. You can crack him slowly. Open. This is also an unboxing. And this is very it's a very hard figure to find. Okay, and let's crack him up a bit here. Slowly. Okay. Right. And this is the comic, which is the same for the the other uh, other releases as well. Okay, uh, you can see He Man holding two orcos, which one is duplicate, and the other is yes, comic can have a brief look at it. Okay, and right here, let me bring. Skaglo back. And this is his. Uh, let's remove him from his prison. Okay. And we have him out of the box. Yep. Okay, just untie him a bit right here on his arms. Okay, to release him from this cable ties. Right, he's he's very expensive, I heard. Okay, and here is Sky Glow. Okay, it's a, it's a bit tight. He's stuck in a cape. Let me remove his cape here. Okay, and here you have Skaglow all out of his plastic prison. All right, as we can see here is he has a uh, much more durable cape, which is in purple. He is uh, basically uh, Skeletor's evil ghost. Okay, when he gets mad, same articulation. As uh, the previous one, this is how you take, take the cape off. I guess unplug his head and take it off this way. All right, and you can see Skag Skaglow right here, and if you uh, you can see him glow slightly if you turn off the lights right here. Slightly glow. We don't have a uh, we don't have basically the night mode to show you that. And he has the same articulations. You can rotate his head back and forth. Rotate 36 degrees up and down. Just take you can take it out. And his arms as well. Okay, as you can see his muscular body is the same as He-Man's. 
Okay, here's the waist articulation, which you can rotate. Doesn't have any action swing uh, uh, as previously. And as for the elbow, you can bend it here. The hands just rotate up, uh, back and forth. Alrighty then. And for I saw the legs, it's you can also take it out. It's on a ball joint. You can it does bend at the knee. It does also rotate, and at the and at the feet, you can also rotate him this way, and his feet all also just rock up and down. And here's the back of scare glow. And if you look at his cape, which is this, is made out of a uh, nice texture. Uh, you can see. Closely the texture behind, which is nicely sculpted. You can feel it. It's very nicely done. And here is Skaglow's weapon. Right here. Which is also made of bendable plastic. Okay, and to put this back in, just need to pop the head out as previously mentioned. Put it back right here, pop the head in, and let Scarecrow hold his weapon right here. Okay, and let's try to turn off the lights for the moment. You can see him slightly glow. See it's slightly glow in the dark. Okay, let's turn on back the lights. And turn on the lights for the studio. Alright, and this has been a short and but interesting review of the Masters of the Universe Scare Glow from Mattel. Hi guys, this is how Skaglo looks in the dark right now. Okay, you can see his menacing face up close and personal. His body glows, including his weapons. Alright, this is Kubo 2008 signing out.